guys, it's the Ultimate Filmer here, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at some of the effect packs and whatnot that you get with Power Director 365. So let's check them out. Okay, so now that we're in Power Director, I'm just going to show you some of the effects you can get with Power Director 365. So for effects packs, you get some cool film style effects and some stylized effects too. So there's one in particular I want to talk about right now, and it's in the Film Style tab here. So we're going to start by dragging it onto this clip as an example. Now this effect can be used for multiple different purposes, and I'm going to show you one of them that's a little bit different right now. So if we go over to Effect, and we see it here, so what I'm going to do is use it to create a lens flare. Let's go to Glow Color, and I kind of want it to be blue, so we're going to use blue. We're going to turn up the glow intensity all the way and turn the threshold down a bit and turn up the radius. And so we want the flares to be kind of horizontal and so we're going to bring that one all the way down and then we can just adjust it the way you like it and then we're going to turn the threshold up a little bit. So that's kind of like a big flare that you know it doesn't really look natural but with a smaller light it would probably look better and so I know this effect is to emulate kind of the uh, the film glow that you get from shooting on film uh, but I'm gonna show you another way that you can use it that is exactly not for that so we're gonna drag it onto this clip and uh, I'm sort of gonna use it to kind of create some stylized lighting in this situation right here so we're going to turn the intensity down to 2 and turn down the threshold. Now we can turn up the radius and I want the glow color to be something like a like turquoise. And actually I'm going to turn up the intensity because it's not intense enough. And now I've sort of got it to a point where I like this more and it kind of gives it this odd feel of like maybe a sci-fi kind of thing. But we could always just you know change this I don't know this gives it a different look and and if we turn up the radius it gives it more kind of ambience and we can also change the color yet again to like basically anything you want but that is another way you can use it so I kind of already showed you an example of this without you may be noticing and it's in the beginning of this episode and basically what I did is I kind of simulated RGB like lighting coming from the side uh, on the right there and if you go into effect you can actually keyframe the glow color and you can get it to change colors like slowly or quickly however you like it so you could do a lot with this effect as you can see if I turn it off and on there's just a subtle difference, but it does kind of make it look better in my opinion. And another way to use it is to make the uh, light source from an object kind of a bit bigger and, you know, glow more, make it look more magical and stuff. So if we go on to effect and maybe turn up the intensity a bit, threshold down. So you can mess with these settings until you find something that looks good for your scene. Now I didn't have to change the glow color to green, but as you can see, it did make it blend a bit better with green. Alright, and if I do a before and after, this is after, and here's what it looked like before. So as you can see, it kind of just enhanced the way the scene looked and stuff. I'm just going to take a look at a couple more things that I found were good with these effect packs. Uh, let's look at the prism effect. It's pretty simple you just drag and drop it and there's only one setting and it's the mix with the original so if you turn it all the way up it'll look normal and if you turn it all the way down you can see the uh, chromatic aberration sort of prism effect that's going on here and this can look pretty cool for some certain situations but definitely don't overuse it and the other thing is in the film style tab here uh, with the film glow and it's the film grain which can uh, enhance your scene incredibly or make it look terrible like this so we're gonna go over to effect and click on the film grain and so what I like to do for this is go into medium grain mono tint just for now and so we're gonna turn down for every color the size and I'm just trying to emulate the film grain so I don't want this tint on turn that off 
And so after turning down all the grain sizes, we can have just maybe the red amount. And as you can see, that's way too much. So we're going to fine tune it until it's somewhere where it looks natural, like nine. Looks good, but it depends on the uh, the situation that's going on in the scene. And of course, there are plenty more effects for you to check out with your PowerDirector 365 subscription. But there's also a new title editor that you can use. If we go down here to this one, it's a new blue uh, Titler Pro. And so basically to edit it, you just double click on it and this whole new editor comes up. So there is a little bit of a learning curve, I guess, but it's uh, pretty straightforward. And what I like about this is kind of the effects and stuff you can add to it but also the fact that it can move through 3D space which you can't really do with the uh, title editor right inside a power director with uh, normal text. So if I wanted the text to come in from behind the camera and move into frame like here uh, then I would just go to the end we'll add a keyframe turn on keyframing and we'll adjust the Z position just a little bit to however I want it to end up so I'm going to make it like that in the end. And so I want it to come from behind the camera. So we're just going to do that. So now when I play it, the text will come from behind the camera. And then it will place itself where it was. As you can see though, it just kind of stops abruptly and starts abruptly also. So we are going to uh, do smooth interpolation. I think it does it for both the keyframes. So we're going to hit play now. And as you can see, when it goes to uh, this keyframe, it slowly stops. So if we go to library and click on effects and go into starter pack, then we can sort of look at kind of the, the effects that are here. So let's look at uh, dream glow and see what there is. Let's look at a strong glow. And you can change the color of the glow and you can even turn on keyframing so you can keyframe the glow and basically the effect for it and there's lots of presets here for the glow so let's try something like RGB shift and let's do a random red shift and as you can see you can uh, even keyframe all of these parameters and uh, so like the uh, the amount of shift and stuff this is just a preset the random red shift it's also explosive fidgeting so if I play it and there are also more effects that you can mess around with. So for the text itself you can also mess around in the style tab and change things that are basic like the color all the way to the texture and environment map. So if we add a texture and you can change the extrusion and the layer depth and its width. So now we're gonna look at some transitions. So if we go to ProDAD and we're going to drag the uh, Vita scene transition. Not sure how to say that. And then uh, we're going to click modify and click standalone effect. So now this also kind of brings up a thing that is by itself. But you got all these different transitions. So there's all these different uh, transitions that you can use. And you can keyframe the parameters for them too. So in a way you can make your own transitions that kind of suit your footage the best. So when you go into the effects tab, there is also a Vita scene effect which you can drag onto your clip and then click standalone effect to enter this module. And then you can mess with settings like this. So there we go, now I have something that kind of looks nice. And so now I've used all of these settings to uh, get some better heavenly light rays into my scene. But yeah, those were just some of the things that I wanted to show you that you can get with PowerDirector 365 subscription that kind of enhance the program and give you a lot of extra features that you can kind of mess around with and just make it a more powerful editing and I guess visual effects tool. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and perhaps subscribing if that interests you. And I'll see you all later. Bye!